Welcome back, my friends. Today I'm going to show you how I created this tunnel text effect. Uh, really neat and nifty. You can see the outline text, uh, which is raised, and then you've got like a background in behind, and you kind of have like a 3D uh, effect on the edges. So stay tuned. All right, so I am back. Uh, with an effect um, that I recently created and posted in my Facebook group. If you don't know um, or you're not part of our Facebook group, uh, please see the description uh, where you'll find the link and you can join. So I created recently um, these three designs uh, with this uh, tunnel text effect. Um, and this one kind of looks like a beveled um, effect and I'll show you how I created it. So I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to just repeat this design up here, the one with the dog with sail. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to change my background to yellow and I'm going to go to text. I'm going to add some text. Now, when you're choosing a font uh, for this effect, try and choose a font that's simple, uh, like a sans serif font. Uh, so I'm going to select a um, monument or you can select Anton, something that's very, very simple. So uh, here I go and I'm just going to change this to all caps and I'm going to say sale. Now, um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I am going to change the font color to um, red. And I'm going to go into effects and I'm going to choose the hollow effect. And I'm going to make it a little bit um, thinner um, like that. And I'm going to duplicate the word. And then I'm going to try and just line it up. but um, upwards. So I'm going to um, kind of extend it up and I'm going to add another one and I'm going to try and um, uh, put it on top but so that there aren't any, there isn't any space. Uh, you're not seeing any space and I'm going to continue. So once you start to do that Canva knows what, what you, where you want to place um, elements and when you pl press duplicate, it just copies what you're doing or remembers what you're doing. So I'm just going to keep doing this um, and I'll stop right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to position and I'm going to go to the first one and I'm going to go back to font and I'm going to choose a darker font, a darker color rather um, like that. And I'm also going to back, go back to effects and I'm going to remove the hollow effect on the very first um, word uh, that I've got in there. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to position. I'm going to go to the top word and I'm going to go back to the text color. And I, again, I'm going to choose the darker color like that. Now you can see that I've got a little bit of a line there. So it does require a little bit of an adjustment. So I'm just going to go to position and, you know, this is happening to me now. It doesn't mean it's all, it's going to happen to you. Um, but we can just um, change that by just selecting um, all of the um, elements uh, and just shifting them down a little bit so that we're not seeing that line. Okay, so like that. And so again, to select all those other elements, you can just press the first one and then you press shift and the last one and it selects all of them and then you can just move them up or down. And what helps me a lot is pressing the control key when I'm moving multiple or single elements, uh, I feel like I get a little bit more control. <laughs> that's kind of like a pun, control and control. Haha. <laughs> okay, uh, enough of jokes. I know that's kind of a terrible one, but anyhow. Um, so there we go. So there's sale. Okay, and then what I did for the doggy is I searched for a dog uh, and it was a photo. And 
to uh, actually a dog uh, with a ball and here he is and what I did is I removed the background and I um, placed him in um, the um, photo and I just moved him in between so um, you can move him anywhere in between and as you can see now he it looks like he's popping out of the um, A. So I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller so that you can see and let me just make everything larger like that and that's kind of how I did that um, and all the other effects are pretty much the same uh, created the same way um, so there you go and there's the the puppy dog um, so if you um, liked this video please don't forget to press the uh, like button and subscribe to be the first to be notified when new content comes out I'd love to see your designs please join our Facebook group and show me um, how you did with this effect okay bye bye for now